Hey cats, it's your midsole man here, Ed Bud. Today I've got another episode of one of the viewers' favourite series on the channel, The Best Running Shoe Bargains, this time for August 2024. Loads to get through in this episode, so I'm going to get straight into it. Let's go. Thanks for tuning in and supporting the channel. Do hit that subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up like. Drop us a comment as well to help with the algorithm. Danke schön. Best running shoe bargains for you today, August 2024. I've scoured the net to find the best cash savers. Some of the overlooked models perhaps. There's even a few full size runs as well, some of these. So let's hop straight in there. Probably one of the best Nike daily trainers around now is the Vomero 17. We got it reduced to 100 quid over at sportshoes.com. There's various different colorways of this one. They even dropped a new colorway this week as well, so it doesn't look like the shoe's being sort of retired anytime soon. Almost a full-size run in this awesome Summit White, Thunder Blue and Total Orange version. It's certainly clean, fresh, and features the best bits of some of the other Nike shoes. You've got a ZoomX layer atop, I think what was a Cushlon 3.0 layer as well, and a great outsole that's kind of inspired by those old waffle iron ones that you get on the tailwind and things like that really good lockdown from this one nice padded tongue overall a decent weight for a daily shoe a good all-round option and i think you could probably use it for long runs too if you don't want those air units in the midsole but you want the extra cushion then the vomero 17 is probably spot on i think it's probably one of nike's most overlooked options right now 100 quid down from 145 so a really decent saving there at sportshoes.com Next up, 40% off the Mizuno Wave Rebellion 2. I really like the V1 version of this shoe, but I found it just hasn't taken off really with the majority of runners, perhaps due to that very left field design. It's just perhaps a little bit too outlandish for some people that want to try it. Though at this price, I think it's a slightly less Risky gamble. The Wave Rebellion 2 features two different Mizuno foams atop each other. They've created a stack there with reportedly a 1.5 mil drop. It's quite bizarre. I mean, it's almost zero. There's a massive stack underfoot. Almost a full size run in this white and harbor mist version. 210 pounds is the original price reduced here to 126 that is quite the saving let me know in the comments if you've tried out this quite outlandish looking shoe if you perhaps fancy something that's a little bit more traditional ah just kidding the puma fast forward nitro elite this in the psychedelic rush version which only released a few months back is at sport shoes down to 126 pounds from 210. So the model itself's been around for a while, but this colorway is quite fresh and quite new. Lots of sizes of this 5K or 10K blaster with the Nitro Elite foam and a very unconventional drop off in the toe box. It almost looks like a stray edge there, doesn't it? I think it's supposed to maximize your turnover, really speed up the cadence. Though many people who have tried the shoe reckon on it better for midfoot landings rather than those who run right up on their toes. I've been very tempted over the last few months to try out one of these. There's been some really good deals on them. Might be one of my last chances to do so. Very characterful design here. Very interesting sort of shoe. I love trying these sorts of things out. Again, one that perhaps some traditionalists are just a little bit too scared to test out. The Fast Forward Nitro Elite, once again available at sportshoes.com, 40% off. Just to make you very aware that none of the companies or retail organisations in today's video are like affiliates or like sponsors or anything. I just find good deals and let you, the runners, know about them. I will place some links into the description, but they're not like sponsored or affiliate links, so I'm not making any cash out of them. Just uh, let you know. One of the best deals out there right now, full-size run of a daily option is the Velocity Nitro 2 from Puma. So this one's down to 52 quid from the original price that was about 105. Really nice cushioned lower stack option that's not going to break the bank and provide some excellent grip and traction. Puma grip really elevates this model against some of its contemporaries. The traction is fantastic. It's a massively overlooked model, one that is very hard to dislike really. Nice padding in the tongue. But though, do watch the fit as it does taper in a little bit towards the toe box on the lateral side. So you might want to go up a half size. At this price, I think it's hard to beat really in terms of value if you want something for daily training. Maybe you're just getting into running and you want a more dedicated shoe. The Velocity Nitro 2 is superb. I think it's kind of become the Reebok Floatride Energy 
of the last couple of years. There's loads of these out there, lots of different colorways, loads of size runs on there. Go and check it out over at Start Fitness. They also have at 109 quid down from 170, the Takumi Sen 9. That represents a superb iteration of this Adidas Adi Zero Racer. Start Fitness with the discount deals. There's about three different colorways and you should be able to find your size regardless. The Continental Rubber gives this amazing traction and the upper is glove-like, as always in this Adi Zero model. Think of a track type shoe, but with lots more cushion and pop from the Light Strike Pro midsole and it makes it a worthy addition to your running shoe arsenal. Light Strike Pro foam as well really improves with age the more you use it. They soften up a little bit, but without the detrimental effects that you might have from some other foams as you put more miles into them. Now, if you like Light Strike Pro foam, but you want more stack, Start Fitness have a superb deal here. Adidas Adi Zero Prime X, the original version in a full size run in this green colorway discounted to 159 quid. For this price, you've got insane cushion and stack, yes, but it's still a very propulsive and exciting ride. The upper is very breathable, super thin, yet lasts the test of time. Think of an Adidas Adios Pro 2, but with an even larger stack, upwards of 50 millimeters, and a very forgiving midsole. Certainly one of those shoes that works for people with a neutral foot strike. If you've got any issues with pronation, I'd probably avoid this model. There's a fantastic outsole here as well. Continental, once again, some of the best rubber you can get. Very, very durable. I found the grip as well to be superb. It's got like these ridges in the forefoot area really help you to toe off. Just watch it on the turns, all right? I think it could be a good long run option, this one, perhaps if you're doing it at a faster pace. Now, originally, I think these were about 220 or 230, so down to 160, still makes for a fantastic saving, and it's pretty much the last place on the internet where you can get a full-size run of this model. Sport it first, have the best deal going right now, though, with the Metaspeed Edge Plus, at 140 quid down from 215. This is an excellent ratio and you could use it in training as well. At this price, it's absolutely fantastic. It's available in almost all sizes as well at the making of this video in August, 2024. Outsole similar to the current Metaspeed series and the midsole is a careful tuning here of the Flight Foam Turbo material. A little bit more responsive, this nylon based stuff. A little bit more bouncy, but with lots of propulsion. The carbon plate here curves more in the forefoot and is perhaps closer to what you might find in the Vaporfly. I think it's a total steal, and if you really like picking up last year's race offerings, and this is right up your street, I loved the Sky version of this shoe and ran some really fast 10Ks in that one. In fact, I think all my like 10K PRs recently and half marathon PRs are in the Metaspeed Sky. That just goes to show these shoes really work for me. ASIC stuff just on point right now. Loads of sizes on this one. I'll place a link in the description so you can find it quickly. Okay, that's all the best deals that I've spotted of recent days. If you've found some surefire winners that I've missed, please let the runners know down in the comments. Musical interlude time. I've been absolutely loving the new Jack White album, which is called No Name. I think this one's gonna inspire some new guitar players out there. People are gonna hear this and the awesome riffs and the superb sounds that he's got on this record and just really wanna have a go themselves. The machine gun-like drums help to propel things along a little bit. There's some subtle bass there as well. It's just mixed beautifully as well. Almost a mix of like funk, hip hop and garage rock elements at times. Jack White's delivery actually is almost spoken in some of the songs. I really like it. It's just so different. So him as well. He doesn't really seem to care what anybody thinks about any of his music. He just makes it and you can make of it what you will. The vinyl copies of this album are going for crazy prices on eBay as well. Makes me a little bit sad that people are buying them just to sell them on again. If I had a copy, I'd just be listening to it. Whenever I buy vinyl, it's not to sell it on, it's to listen to and enjoy. Same with shoes, really. You're here for a brief moment of time, aren't you? So you may as well enjoy the stuff that you like. Go and check this one out. Fantastic album if you're into guitar sounds. No Name by Jack White. Thanks for tuning in, people. Hope I saved you a few bucks in this video. If I did, drop us a super thanks as well to help support the channel on a more ad hoc basis. Hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up like. My name's Ed Bud, and I'll be seeing you.